Hey guys, welcome to my first um, part, my uh, first part of art ambiance, and uh, in this video, uh, I decided to go ahead and gather up different arts that I have created, uh, <clears throat> and I guess display them to you, uh, since I have a huge passion for art, um, going from sketches to painting, clay, watercolors, anything you name it. Uh, I'm just a huge art enthusiast, and I've always loved it ever since uh, I could even remember, you know, having memories, I guess. So it's been, you know, been a wild ride, you know, creating different forms of art, and <clears throat> I've definitely gotten better uh, within these years. Uh, from drawing when I was little, from drawing like amateur crocodile drawings to building up to human faces and then landscapes, uh, animals, and then more mythological uh, types of um, art. But I've definitely grown to different varieties and I've learned different methods of drawing to help me build myself to become a better artist and I'm still learning so it's always good to continue learning that's how you know you're getting better and better and that's kind of how art is so in this first art that I've been showing here was from school uh, this was my senior year I'm I've graduated in 2019 so it wasn't that long ago but uh, this was from painting class. Uh, this this uh, the story behind this one is I've taken a picture uh, near the school. I was like pretty much next to the school when I took a picture of a, a beautiful um, sunset. And uh, as you can tell, uh, the colors are various. There's different form. There's different colors in there. It may look a little messy, but um, that was, I, I'm not very professional at trying to blend in colors in the scheme of, um, yeah, like blending it in so that way it looks natural, but um, I definitely tried, and uh, it was fun for the most part. I, I definitely, I struggled. That's the only thing that I disliked about it, that I, that I struggled. I didn't like the way it looked, but I kind of grown with it as time went by. And, you know, I, I know that I'll, I'll learn to be better at it um, eventually. But this was from a sunset um, right after school. Uh, I'm pretty sure it might have been somewhere along the lines of... Because school ended early. It doesn't uh, end when the sunset comes in. So I might have been doing a few things. And then I was kind of around school when the sunset was closing in. But... Um, yeah, as you can see, right on the top right corner, there's these, like, brownish lines, uh, jagged, like, crooked lines. That's, that was from the one of the trees. Uh, <clears throat> so this is definitely, this was around winter time when I made this, of course. And that was from the overhead of the, the, uh, the branches from a tree as I was taking, as I took that picture. And yeah, so this... This drawing was, uh, I orchestrated it into a drawing. This the um, the picture that I took. I, I have it on another phone, but um, yeah, when I was looking at my picture, I was trying to uh, do the best I can in trying to make the colors natural when I worked on the sky. It wasn't like I said, it wasn't great, but um, I think for maybe like my first few times doing this, it definitely, uh, paid off in my opinion, um, and on the bottom left, of course, that's the sun, um, I didn't want to draw, like, a shade of a tree, the shade of a tree right in front of it, because when I saw the picture, it was just kind of the sun, it was, like, nothing kind of in front of it, at least from the picture that I saw, and so I did it that way. So it may look a little unreal at first because there were trees kind of 
uh, lining lining up uh, around the sun, but that's just kind of how the picture was taken. And these trees try to make it as I try to make it as detailed as possible. So when I was looking at them from the picture, I tried to gather as much detail, focus very narrow, like very um. How do I say it? I was very narrow and very focused on how the trees looked. And so that is kind of the the idea, the basic form of it. It's not perfect, but it's sort of how that looked in the picture. Um, but yeah, and uh, that's kind of how it looked like. As you see those little white spots, those kind of whitish spots right above the sun, um, that was from, it was either little clouds or... It was some 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 form of that uh, might have been little clouds or something, but I know there was like white spots above the sun, so I just wanted to add every amount of detail as I possibly could. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna move this aside. Uh, next one we have here is of course a waterfall. Um, <clears throat> This was actually not from a picture. This was just my mind, I guess. Uh, kind of a picture formed in my mind, and I just kind of started from there. The art style on this one is v drastically different from the first one you guys saw. This was actually done with my finger. I used uh, finger painting. Uh, so this is another form of art that I used. Um, and... Basically, this was made, um, I, I don't want to get into details, but I was in a special, I was in a special place at this time. Uh, let's just say I was getting help. But throughout that time, I did act certain activities, uh, you know, and uh, this was kind of, it's a kind of a coping skill mechanism that I, that I like to use, even though it's my passion, drawing art is also just like a coping skill to help me throughout my life. And so when I was in this special place, um, there was a moment in which uh, everyone was gathering to form art just with their fingers. And this was kind of the first idea that came up to my mind. Um, as you can see, the black is the rocks. It's like the, the mountainous area, kind of, kind of where the waterfall uh, is see at the very top where it's uh how do i say it with well, a rock it's just like a rock like kind of a cliff in a sense and yeah and then the green of course is the, the pastures the trees they don't look like trees but um of course i couldn't go too much into detail as we didn't have all the time in the world we only have a certain amount of time to do this and so i kind of just rushed it but uh, just kind of pretend there's trees and, you know, vegetations, big leaves, etc. cetera. Uh, the purple right right on top of the paper, uh, that would be this the sky. It's purple, I guess, for the sunset. Even though I didn't fully complete the sky, I didn't want to because I thought it looked um, better that way than it would have if I had fully painted it in purple or like a little bit of orange and purple i just thought it would look better that way um uh, but yeah as you can see there's no sun there i i didn't draw the sun i know it's, it's somewhere on there but i didn't just i didn't draw it um and <clears throat> i tried to right in the right in the center ish uh like a little bit to the left i'll just point it out here this, I tried to make it where it's like this, you know how when the water falls all the way down and it causes this like splash and this like bog, this kind of foggy uh, center area. I tried to make it like that. So when I was drawing, when I was painting that part, I was uh, kind of circling around. As you can see, like it looks a little bit like I circled around it. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like much but um i think for paint uh finger painting i it it was a lot i did a lot uh, i guess we had 
quite a bit of time, but um, I think for finger painting, as probably my maybe first or second time, I don't know how many times I did this, um, I definitely thought I did a pretty tremendous job. Um, you're probably wondering how I did the lining, the lines um, here, kind of the outline for the rocks. I did use a marker of sorts, um, just so it was more organized and, you know, wasn't kind of all over the place and it actually looked solid. Um, so that's what I did. I used like brown marker, get an outline so I wouldn't kind of go overboard. Uh, it wouldn't look messy. It would look actually nice and neat, but, um, yeah, sorry, my hands are a little shaky, but yeah, that's second one down. Okay, let me push that on there. That's what I'm going to try to... Oh, my feet are in the way. Let me just... Yeah. Okay, so this one was also done uh, in the special place I was in, getting help. Um, this was solely about... Um, like the passions, interests, uh, basically things that I liked, things that I enjoyed either doing or things that I just enjoyed in general. Um, so I'm going to explain that in further detail right now. Uh, of course, in the, um, I'll save the best for last, the middle, the middle right here. I'll save that one for last. Um, these, uh, purple peanut looking things are actually uh footprints uh walking down a path onto the sunset just basically expressing how much i like um uh, walking and how much it, it re relieves my stress and uh especially walking down in the sunsets um yeah i, I just happen to really enjoy strolling down the streets um you know, on a peaceful evening, and, uh, yeah, um, there's, of course, um, this bunny here in this tree expresses how much, um, I love nature, how I feel about, um, uh, nature and, and its beauty, and my care for animals, of course, I, I've always wanted like a pet, like a rabbit or a dog, but I've yet to, you know, I've yet to get there someday, you know, but I it just shows my, um, how to say it, my interest in nature and how much I care about, you know, the environment. Uh, and you can see the birds over there. Hold on. You sort of see it. There, you can see it much better now, yeah. That's, uh, like, the simplest way I draw birds. I know, like, you probably have seen that style before, but, yeah. Um, of course, the paintbrush. I've already said that. I'm an uh, art enthusiast. I'm very passionate about how I feel in art. And, yeah. And then here, last, of course, last but not least, this heart with a bird inside of it. Um... This is not actually for me. It well, it is. I did this, but what I'm saying is, it wasn't originated by me. This was by my biological mother, which um she's living in Puerto Rico, but um I I would always see these um paintings, these drawings around her neighborhood, and she would also show them to me whenever I saw visited her at her home. I would see a similar, similar drawing, similar painting of a, either it was a blue heart or a red heart, and there was always a bird inside of it. Bird, um, um, uh, which signified, you know, I, I guess for peace, signified, um, had a meaning, uh, I think it was because behind, it was the meaning behind her name in which, um, oh, how, how was it? There was something about her name and the bird that's kind of like uh, connected 
but basically she always drew that um whenever she would um uh, kind of express herself she would do uh f draw many different things but that would be kind of her main iconic drawing painting but yes that that is that it for that one Let me pull this one out. So this one's falling apart a little bit. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of falling apart. Uh, it went through hell and back. Um, so please forgive me if uh, it looks a little messy. Um, but of course, if um, this is a beach, and this one was actually. A little difficult to make a little difficult to create just because this is not of course um, paint this isn't coloring in this isn't a sketch this isn't you know this was actually made from other colored paper cutting the other colored paper out and trying to design formulate how I would shape the the pieces of paper as I was cutting them so it would fit perfectly onto this uh, onto the back here um, and it actually took some debt with some work um, because at first it was easy but then it had a slant I had to slant on when I was as I was cutting certain pieces of paper and I had to measure out exactly how it would fit in so that way it doesn't look um, uneven and yeah so I thought this was a little bit difficult to make um, but yes yeah, so of, of course uh, this is uh, just like a beach um, yellow sand light blues water dark blues the sky which it should have been the other way around but I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Because, um, you know, the sky is light blue. The water is a little darker, I guess. But it doesn't matter. The Of course, there's the white clouds and then there's the sun. And then if you're wondering what the red is, these are actually crabs. I didn't have the time to go into detail with the legs and try to... You know, because that was going to take a lot of time when it came to cutting. Um, I'd have to focus, narrow, very carefully not to make a single mistake because I could cut off a leg. And it would just kind of ruin the, the whole purpose of creating the crab. So I made it as simple as a red dot. But yeah, um, I don't know if you can tell, but you can probably caught on. There's these lines here and there's a line here as well that um is basically from the paper wasn't how do i say it wasn't there wasn't like enough paper to fill in so what i had to do was cut extra paper from the same color and just stick it in so that way it wasn't like a little bit of black on this side it would actually fill the whole side and it would look um uh, it would look actually believable and, you know, nicer to look at. Um, and finally, of course, uh, the white strips are the kind of the wave currents coming in. Um, and but yeah, that's that's this one. This one was made um, another special place, which I don't really like to get into, but it's all right. Um, this was made in an art room or like just a room where you could go in and do different activities. One of which it was like once every two to three weeks or so. I don't know how it goes, but they were kind of doing a some art um, creations, and this was kind of this the theme for the for that day. So yeah, that's what I had in mind, and yeah. So here we have, of course, um, Venom from Marvel. <clears throat> this was from school, another art project for my art class. <clears throat> and this one, this one took a little while um, because honestly, whenever I'm doing art, I 
I'm very detailed, and I like to take my time solely because I like to make sure my art is as fantastic as it can be, because I know it won't be perfect, but um, I want to make it as grand as possible, and so, yeah, this was came in, I'll zoom in, just so you can see the amount of detail, so you can see the, the of course, the giant white spider symbol, and you can see the amount of detail put in, in the mouth, and you can see the teeth as well, and you can see how the red, the little red specks, those didn't really take that long, it was more of just being careful. I mean, in a way, it did take a little while, but it was more of just being careful to not mess up on that on part. And, um, yeah, and of course, I don't know if you noticed, but the eyes are, like, um, they have a little bit of, like, it's, of course, it's white, but I did paint on white in there, and it's, like, a very interesting, uh, texture, or, uh, feeling. When you feel it, it's, like, you can actually feel the paint. Like, it's sticking out a little bit, which is kind of cool. I always thought that was really interesting. Uh, but, yeah. And uh, this was... I don't know how long this took. Maybe a few... Maybe two, three weeks. I'm not sure. But um, I got a grade on it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I got a... I don't know if you can see that. A 98. 20, 29 out of 30. So, a 98. Um... But yeah, this is a special type of um, coloration. Uh, I didn't want to go all all full out red. You know, here didn't want to do too much red. I don't know. I just felt, you know, different. With I wanted to f uh, try a different style, make it look unique in its own way. Where you know, um, but yeah, put this one over here. All right, so um, this one definitely took a while, um, probably almost a month, actually probably a month, believe it or not, uh, just because the amount of color variation that I had to put in, as well as making sure that it didn't mess up any, how do I say it, like the, the, the patterns were good, um, there wasn't any messiness, and I was able to just create these shapes and form it in a way where they all had their own unique color. So believe it or not, each and every one, just about, have their own unique color, even though some may look similar. Some of them may be like, okay, some of these patterns have the same color. Actually, that's not true because I actually took the time to color uh, variate, I guess, um, and just form different colors in, in which I could be comfortable with and say that I actually took the time and tried to. It was, it was the color orange and blue, was it? It was orange and blue, and yeah, and... It was very difficult um, how I had to form like different colors because you there wasn't much you could do. It was just I think it was just two colors, but uh, and then of course you can see my name. No, it's not Jesus, but if you want to call me that, I don't really I don't really care. Um, but yes, it's, it, my name is Jesus, and uh, I think the project was that you had to put your name somewhere in the in the painting, so yeah, and so yeah, this one took uh, some quite some time actually. Um, so I worked very hard to make sure that this looked good, and I'm proud of it. I'm very proud of it uh, for sure. Um, and yes, believe it or not, I did get a 100 on it. So even more proud. Um, with that being said, um, so. Yes, that's that's all of my uh, paintings. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
uh, I had, I surely did, um, I love just expressing myself and basically, um, just displaying what I've made in my lifetime, um, but yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, please, of course, give it a like, um, or a dislike if you didn't enjoy it, that's fine, and of course, subscribe, please support, um, I'm trying my best to make these videos as best as I can, and, you know, spread out, spread some knowledge, and, and just, hopefully, if you guys enjoy it, you know, that's great, and if you didn't, that's fine too, but, um, yeah, that's all I have, um, of course, I have more art, this is a kind of, this is the first part, so don't worry, this is the first part, and eventually, I'll make more and more, but yeah, and, I hope you have a nice one, guys. Take care.